Though the hazard of asbestos is real and potentially grim, it can be controlled. For this reason, the Navy has implemented a set of health standards and control measures which are designed to provide the worker with maximum protection. For example, excuse me a moment, Bill. Control efforts start with an air sampling device like this. With this device, the air is tested periodically at asbestos work sites or after asbestos removal operations. Such testing verifies the effectiveness of dust control measures and lets us know if any significant hazard exists. Note that the collection filter is fastened in the breathing zone to assure a realistic sample. Thanks, Bill. All samples collected are taken to a lab where they are counted by a person specially trained to correctly do this. The fibers counted represent the number sampled in a measured amount of air over a certain period of time for a specific worksite operation. The number counted is a measure of the effectiveness of the engineering controls used and a measure of how thoroughly and carefully the workers performed the rip-out operation. These fiber counts can be used to establish control standards for similar operations in the future. For example, increased worker protection is required if the sampled area contains an average concentration of more than two fibers greater than five microns in length for each cubic centimeter of air tested during an eight-hour work period. And further, Worker protection is required for any exposure period if the sample tested contains more than 10 fibers per cubic centimeter.